If 4K30 is not a high enough frame rate, you can do 1080p at 60 frames per second, and it depends on the kind of stream that you're doing. Personally, I broadcast in 4K30 anyway, so 4K30 is perfectly okay for a capture format, especially with the extra image clarity. They do have PDAF or precise deft autofocus. Now in the example, it works really great. And that's where you can hold an item up and it'll focus on there and then create like kind of a blur behind you. And then when you put it down, then it'll focus back on your face. My personal experience with autofocus is I don't like it. I like a locked focus, but that's because I'm a locked distance from the camera all the time. If you're someone who's moving in and out of the camera range and kind of over and, and up, the PDAF is definitely a feature that you're probably going to want to use. I have seen instances where it hasn't worked quite effectively. The fix for that was make sure the camera has been updated to the latest software and also make sure that your software has been set up correctly and most users are experiencing and then it's working fine for most users. At the heart of it all is a half inch CMOS sensor which allows you to get a lot of extra light through the sensor so that you get clear crisp images especially in low light situations so you don't get a lot of blurring of that image. It does have a fixed ISO which is just kind of a standard range for all around best shooting. If image quality is important to you and the Tiny2 light is just not quite getting there for you, this is the major difference between the Tiny2 light and the Tiny2 regular.